Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Today I am looking at the Parker IM fountain pen. I have uh, purchased it some time ago and I paid around 40 Canadian dollars with free shipping from Amazon. The thing that uh, attracted me the most about it was the design uh, pattern that he has. I have to admit that uh, I'm not a big Parker fountain pen fan, especially the IM design overall. But this metal version of the IM really caught my eye and, uh, well, I end up getting one. Having a closer look at the fountain pen, um, like I mentioned, I really like the design and pattern that he has. The pen is very uh, tactile. Um, all these grooves, uh, you can actually feel them on the pen. This is not just paint. Uh, every dark line needs an actual groove. Um, and... Um, even the cap has a very interesting uh, design with uh, our, believe, uh, solar system. Uh, the planets in our solar system. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, overall design, it's um, kind of a sub shape uh, with flat and uh, finials. And I really like the pattern on the barrel uh, and the uh, effect that it gives you. Anyway. Starting with the cap, top finial, it's a very plain and simple chrome, a chrome piece that is glue in place. I was not able to remove this. Almost flat ended, just very ever so slightly domed, crumbed uh, clip as well, which actually is pretty stiff and uh, quite usable and functional. During the shirt test, sliced in actually very nice, no issues there. And uh, that's pretty much what you see out of your shirt or out of your uh, pen case. Removing it, very nice, no issues there. From the finial it tapers up a little bit, then it's pretty much straight all the way to the barrel. A small leap or step down just before the barrel, and again barrel pretty straight up to here and then tapers down slowly to a flat ended finial, that again it's pretty much glued in there, I was not able to remove it. Other than the uh, design elements on the pen, there's no mention of the brand or the model as far as I can see, at least not on this, uh, not on this um, design. One odd thing, which I don't know if it's intentional or um, that's a mistake, there seems to be a small dot just before the end of the barrel. Kind of, I kind of like it, so I would assume that is done intentional. The cap, it's pull push cap, works very nicely. You can take it off with one hand without a problem and click it in with one hand as well. And it does have a very satisfying click to it. I like how it works and how it feels. And once you remove it, you well, will discover a fairly short section, maybe more like a medium size, I would call it, that it is brushed. However, to my uh, hands, it feels a little bit slippery, something to take in consideration. Fairly small and stubby, I assume number five uh, nib that I actually like. I've been playing around with it a little bit and it's very smooth. In my case, this is a uh, fine nib. I was not able to purchase the pen with the fine nib. Uh, it actually came with a medium nib, but uh, I wanted to try the fine. So I spent time trying to figure out if there's a way to find these nibs separately. Uh, you can find them. However, you'll pretty much have to buy the entire section. I thought that maybe because of that, these uh, nibs and feeds are glued into place or very tight fit and uh, yeah that is the case this seems to be very tight in place um, however I, I managed to remove uh, the feed and uh, nib after a lot of time playing with it and a lot of water soaking when i uh, purchased the um, the entire section 
the uh, design elements on the barrel was not lining up with uh, the knee bend feet and that's what forced me to uh, try and pursue and move that uh, feet and even eventually I was able to and now it lines up. One thing to mention uh, when I purchased it with the medium uh, nib, the design elements and the nib were aligned from uh, pretty much the start. Looking inside the cap, fairly simple. Uh, we do have a plastic inner liner in there, nothing special. Uh, pretty much it's there to hopefully seal in the nib properly and at the same time uh, uh, acting as the uh, clipping in mechanism for the pen. Back to the pen. Barrel, it's twist. Uh, it's a little bit noisy when you remove it, however, um, not a lot of play and uh, everything works, uh, seems to work um, pretty well. Uh, when my pen came, it came without the converter. This is something that I've added. However, it did came with, uh, I believe, one or maybe two cartridges. We do have metal treads on metal treads, which is actually very good, very nice. That means we'll, we, will, we won't have any issues in the future. And having a quick look inside the barrel, uh, pretty much a straight metal tube. We do have something at the end, uh, which I assume is part of the finial component. And uh, that's the part that helps to uh, pretty much keep it in place. Other than that, I don't think it uh, has any function. In hand, the fountain pen feels actually pretty good. I like the weight and balance that it has, uh, size-wise unposted. And I do have a couple of millimeters to spare, just a little bit above my knuckle in there where it rests. So I don't think I'll have any issues using it as is for writing at least. And uh, balance-wise, it's on my favorite side, uh, nib heavy which makes it uh, to naturally point down. A little bit of a complaint, maybe that section feels a little bit too smooth. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna like it. And there is a reach between the section and the barrel. And uh, depending on your hand uh, grip or hand uh, the finger positions, you might actually feel that. So if you would have it right on the middle finger, you might hate that, I actually do feel it. It's not sharp or cutty, um, cutty. <laughs> it's not sharp or feels like it cuts um, basically the finger, but um, it's very abrupt. For my hand position, I'll be keeping it somewhere in here and um, with my thumb up on the barrel. And that helps me with the grip. The barrel is not as uh, slippery, at least not on this uh, design pattern. And if you don't like the size of it, the pen posts very nice, very deep, secure. Um, doesn't really change the balance that much in hand. It doesn't make it top heavy, at least not for my, uh, for my hand size. Even here, it doesn't really feel that uh, top heavy. Balance shifts from nib side to pretty much in the middle of the pen, I would say. So, at least this copy that I have seems to be well behaved. I like it. And for drawing, I think I will most probably like it posted. And uh, my hand position will be somewhere in here, especially for loose drawing. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I have to admit, I like the way it feels in hand and... Uh, how everything uh, pretty much you can feel the design and um, yeah I, I do like this pattern maybe the only comment will be that the design on the cap might not match up that well with the design on the barrel but somehow it works I like it anyway let me go into uh, inking it up uh, do a writing sample and then hopefully we'll get a nice sketch for it as well. For today's ink, well, I'm pretty much using the same ink that I used uh, last week, the Bamni um, Permanent Black or also called Coal Barges, at least that's what it has on the sticker over here. I do like this ink, it's quite nice. 
I had no issues during the fill up, everything was as perfect as it can uh, be with a very minimum ink on the section. Even though it has this groove in here, um, didn't really have any issues with the uh, with cleaning it up. <laughs> very, uh, very minimal ink loss, I would say. This was mostly from me trying to clean up uh, the f the actual uh, nib. This did not came from um, the section. Anyway, this is. Parker, I am fountain pen. Very nice nib, actually. The line feels more of a medium or fine to medium than an actual fine. Chatty, but ink flow is actually very good. I like it. And the reverse definitely gives you a finer line, which is good. I have options for my uh, sketch and I can flip, uh, flip it uh, around to get uh, some more finer details. Just um, as smooth flowing, no issues. A little bit more chatty, but not scratchy. So far, I like it. Dunny feels actually very nice, I like it. No issues with it. Right now I'm barely uh, gliding it on the page just to see how it feels. And it works pretty good. There's no actual line variation from it. That name is fairly stiff, uh, not a lot of bounce on it. But definitely usable, definitely, definitely a good name. And uh, as I was writing, that section actually didn't feel that slippery. Uh, you'll definitely feel it slippery if your hands uh, tend to be a little bit maybe drier. But so far, personally, I can't really complain, especially uh, for my uh, grip position. Anyway, uh, let me uh, go into a uh, sketch. I'm not sure if I'm going to get something nice with it. Hopefully we will. Um, however, I'll definitely uh, play with it for a couple of hours. And um, yeah, I'll let you know what I think of it. For today's drawing, I started with an idea, but I kind of uh, chickened out of it and drifted into something else. A little bit different from what I've been doing so far, but still kind of fun, to be honest. Again, I didn't know when to stop, so I might have worked it a little bit too much. It's uh, basically a floating ship of some sorts. Fun drawing in the end though, and very, very relaxing. The Phantom Man worked out um, great, absolutely no issues. I was able to control it without much of an effort. The most uh, tricky part is when I started to do the swirly clouds, I guess you can call them, since uh, I was moving the pen uh, very fast and barely uh, touching the page, it was skipping a, a lot. Not the pen's fault, considering how fast I was moving my hand around. However, I was able to use that to my advantage and I did got what I wanted in a moment from it. What do I like about the Parker IM Fountain Pen? The first thing for me, and the reason I bought it, was its design. It feels very, as I mentioned before, tactile, and um, I really like holding it. It's not just a decal or painted over, there are actual grooves in the metal that you can feel and uh, this makes me appreciate it even more. 
I like how it caps, nice, secure and how it posts without ruining the balance of the pen and at the same time it's nice and deep as well. The nib uh, may be a little bit of an odd uh, design but it's very smooth and uh, well behaved. Both versions. I did uh, use the pen uh, before I when I had the medium uh, nib on it but this is the first time when I'm using the fine. Uh, nib and uh, it uh, worked out uh, great from the box as they say is uh, there anything that I dislike about it I think the biggest flaw on this uh, fountain pen might be the section um, again depending on your hand uh, if it tends to be a little bit drier and uh, depending on your grip and hand position it might feel uh, very smooth to the touch and uh, because of that I think a lot of people might not enjoy it. For me it turned out actually okay, I was afraid I might be annoyed by it but um, I, I had no issue with it, especially how I'm holding it with a thumb on uh, the barrel. At the same time I also have to admit that um, I am willing to overlook this and live with it as is because I really like the design of it. And the other thing, well, a converter is not included, or at least it was not included with my copy. Other than that, overall I really think that this is a beautiful fountain pen, especially in this pattern. I have no issues recommending it as long the section works out for you. You could work on the section and make it not so smooth, but that is some extra work that I understand that a lot of people might not be willing to put in and uh, if you're not paying attention, you might ruin the look of the pen. If anyone is interested on what you could do in order to make a smooth section better for gripping, let me know and uh, I can put it in my schedule and maybe eventually make a video out of that and make like a small guide. Anyway, I, um, I will stop talking now and I'll let you enjoy the rest of the time lapse. Um, if you have any other questions, leave a comment below and I will try and get to it as soon as I can. Thank you for joining me today, hope I'll see you next time and uh, I wish you all the best and a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Take care, bye.